Why mind map is so effective? There are five main reasons. It is the best tool available today to learn material fast. Mind mapping allows you to quickly understand important concepts. Connect information you're learning to existing knowledge you already have. Build associations with existing topics you already know. And recall material that you're learning much, much faster. You can use mind maps to help you study at school, college, or university. Mind maps will help you brainstorm new ideas, solve problems effectively. Mind mapping will help you with the effective decision making, event planning. It will help you make your meetings more effective. And what's extremely important in today's world, it will help you effectively collaborate remotely. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. The fastest way to create mind mapping diagram in Visio is to search for available template. Once you are in the drawing screen, mind mapping diagram, which is also called brainstorming diagram, has five shapes in Visio. Main topic, topic, multiple topics, dynamic connector and association line. To start building the diagram, you need to start with the main topic. Let's say that my main topic I'm trying to brainstorm is how to learn effectively. To capture it in the main topic bubble, I need to double click on the bubble and type in the name. Let's assume that there are five main concepts we're trying to adopt for effective learning. Taking notes, connecting new concepts to existing knowledge, asking questions if something is not clear, visualizing concepts, and reviewing the examples. Let's represent these five concepts on the diagram. To add subtopic to the main topic, you need to click on the shape and click add subtopic. Once in place, you need to double click on the subtopic and type the new text. You can add additional four subtopics in the same way. Let's take a look at a couple things Microsoft Visio provides to make your diagram effective. Number one is outline window. Here you see that we have main topic and we have five subtopics. You can edit things right here or you can get to the specific subtopic. By default, if you add subtopics through the right mouse click, they are added on the left side and on the right side from the main bubble. It might be okay for you. If you need to change this behavior, keep in mind that you can reconnect the subtopic to any areas of existing bubble. Keep in mind that mind map is just a concept. It doesn't matter which tool do you use. I use Microsoft Visio because it's just much easier for me to present it on the screen. But in addition to digital options, you might very well be using chalkboard or pen and paper. It is very important that you focus on the ideas and the concepts and the thought process of what you're trying to document, not on the tool. Couple considerations though to keep in mind. Always plan for revisions. It is good to use the tool where you can erase and edit the information. And another important thing is that mind map can be used as a comprehension tool for yourself. You don't need anybody else to build effective mind map. And at the same time, it could be used as very effective collaboration tool when you're working with the team. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.